So in order to make this video for you guys, I actually had to steal a NASA PC, which is exactly what I did. But before I did that, I had to do a workout video. And so I did. And this is how it I decided to put it to the test. And believe it or not, it still barely runs it. As you can see, my PC is screaming out to me. Help! Help! What are you doing? Oh, no. If we go over to Continuum Products and we can actually select Continuum RT, the new version is the Build 16, which is actually incredible by the looks of it. And not only this, but it also adds a new feature, such as if you go to the Material Settings and you go to the Terrain Parallax Settings, not this, uh, to Material Override Settings, you actually get the Emissive Concrete Powder Block. And these use PTGI emissives, which are basically colored stuff. So let me continue. <laughs> Continuum has worked very well with this. As you can see, just the mix of colors is absolutely insane. As well as it ranges from all this to the blue, to the smoothness of everything over to the red side. And they have used a mix of colors. I have used lapis. Magenta, great con uh, magenta concrete powder and, uh, well, whatever redstone block this is. And this is because with the new feature, they basically added all of the powders emit light. Just any concrete powder. All of these emit light. And I will show you more later. Such as this one, this one, this one. Obviously white, orange. Just all of them are absolutely insane. <laughs> Other cool lighting features are over here, such as this. Wow, just look at the beauty of this. And if we break these... Just look at this. This is absolutely insane, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, this looks alright. Mm, let's place this with this. Oh wow, look at that. Look at this. This is beautiful. It just shows the quality. Shows the time and effort put into this as well. I mean, this shader offers incredible shadows and incredible lighting effects, but hey. What else can it do? I mean, take a look at the water, and the water is ray traced as well. It has very good refractions, and yeah, look at that. As you can see, the refractions are working very well. Cool. Listen, I'm a straightforward type of person. I'll tell you this. I don't know how to tell you the exact, like, uh, whatever coding program, whatever they have in this, but all I'm saying is this looks cool and it is worth the money, if you have a good PC. I mean, just, just, just look at it. I mean, do you, do you seriously need to know all of that stuff, all of the little programming little thingies? No, you just need to look at the water and say it's nice. Now, the water is nice. So, what does that mean? It means the water is nice. Oh, uh, listen that one. Whatever that is. Nice. It looks good. As long as it looks good, that's what matters. It needs to look good. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. And I'm getting a good 67 frames. Just above 60. That is perfect. The best night sky in my opinion. Compress the button. Sunrise, I think. Okay, this is the general shaded testing area. Oh wow, look at that. Look at that, you can see like the orange from the wall. Well, I mean, that is that wall? Looks like terracotta. Just look at that. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. 
and you can see each like strand of green and the color depending on what the sun lands on. Now that is beautiful. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't this beautiful? Continuum RT is a shader that is known to be very demanding on softwares and, well, softwares, on PCs, and, well, it is a very demanding shader, so I thoroughly suggest you consider, and uh, if you consider buying this, take a look at Continuum RT's requirements on what it takes to run this shader, because, trust me, I, I had a really tough time running this, and especially recording it in 4K. But, other than that, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. It as you can see, it looks incredible, and I will see you in the next video. Hasta luego.